We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Today we are going on another adventure. This time we're going to be exploring the Pacific side of this peninsula. And we're super excited to go and do that. First, we're going to stop and get some coffee. And we're taking you along with us. So let's go. The first place that we are going to has a very unique way of making coffee. They pour it through a sack. This is called Cafe de Talega. This restaurant is also a working ranch and market, so everything will change according to what is in season. But you know everything is going to be really fresh here. The coffee has a deep rich flavor, is very smooth, and has a slight hint of a smoky flavor. We really enjoyed it and got one to go too. The homemade bread that Rigoberto gave us to try was really good. It's a dense bread that reminded us of gingerbread except softer and with a hint of molasses. They also let us try one of their herbal teas, Damiana, which is really delicious, slightly sweet, but very herbally. It's a local tea that they use as a pick-me-up to help people get through the day. Thank you very much, Rigoberto, and now and Fatima. That coffee was so delicious. Do you agree? I agree. Oh it's really gosh. good. We enjoyed it so much. And it's really interesting how they make it. This drive has lots of hills and curves, making it fun as well as beautiful. It's also pretty easy to get from Cabo and isn't too crowded during the day. It reminds us of our drive along the California coastline with a lot less traffic and a lot more nature. On Google Maps, we saw several beaches and decided to stop at this one because it has whales as signs. turn off the road because we noticed on the map that there's a little beach here. It's a big beach and it looks amazing. We just got to it and we're going to show it to you right now. Looks like people drive out here. We've actually camped on the beach in our old RV a couple of times. We absolutely love doing that. We will do that again when we have another four-wheeler that can handle the beach, but not today. Well, let's go see the water. While we were on the beach, we saw this whale slapping its tail in the water. It did this for probably a good 15-20 minutes and was highly entertaining for us, so we stood and watched it for a little bit. This is an incredible beach and since it's whale season, you get a good show too. Now we've got to get going so we can get some lunch. arrived in Todos Santos and we're about to go walk around and check it out. It's a small town on the Baja Peninsula and we've heard it has a lot of characters. Plus it's on the Pacific coast which means the far western side of the peninsula and we're really excited to go and check it out and see what they have here. So let's go. Check out those beautiful classics in front of that amazing building right there. This town obviously has a lot of history, and if you recognize this machine, we'd love to know more about it. Leave a comment below. We have an idea of what we want to get, and we kind of know exactly where we're going to go get it. But when you're walking through the town, you can see that there are a lot of options. So we're just enjoying the walk. It becomes obvious pretty quickly that this town is known for its artistic style and beauty. Of course, in a touristy area like this, you're going to find shops like this that have a lot of really neat things that you can purchase.
next to the town square is going to be the Mission Todos Santos, which is right there. Candy shop. In our Mexico City food tour, we stopped by one of the candy vendors that was there and tried a couple of their candies and they were really delicious. So we're thinking maybe we can stop here and grab a couple for ourselves. I think we'll be in trouble if we go in there. I know I'll be in trouble if we go in there. <laughs> Let's go. This is La Bella. What are these ones right here? Okay. These are coconut bars. Fresh, organic coconut. This one's orange. How much would something like this cost? This is $10. So caramel blended with vanilla. Mm -hmm. In Mexico, different seasons produce different fruit, which produces different candies. The name for these caramels is Glorias o Jamoncillos. The real tamarind that you're gonna find in this special yucks. And this little cup gives us the flavor. If you was a kid and you don't try this, you don't have any fun. <laughs> Give us your name real quick. Patricio, welcome. <laughs> this is the heritage from my mom and my grandmom. Like you can see, I have my scarves and my pants. I guess I practice to make some candies with my mom and it's real, it's good. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Just delicious, really delicious. Yeah, that's really good. I don't know if we can decide between them. There's, there's so many good options. This was really fun. This is what it looks like. And you're going to come in this door right here. Just ask for Patricio. He is definitely an expert. And it's all family recipes. So, you know, it's being passed down from generation to generation. We'll leave some links in the description below. This is the spot that you're going to be looking for. Just make sure you go towards the back. Ask for Patricio. And turn at the wheel. This is what you're going to look for at the entrance. fish taco place because we love fish tacos and we're going to try these ones out and see what they're like and we'll show you them in just a minute. We're gonna taste them and let you know how they are. It's real easy to get to. You're gonna be able to find it real easy. It's right next to the Copel and the Banorte, which is right there. The meat is very juicy and tender, very delicious. Those tacos were incredible. Those are really good. It's easy to find right here. That's what you're looking for. You need to find it. You need they to find it. so good. We've had so much fun here, but we've got something else we want to do tonight. So we're going to go to our next stop. But first, this is not associated with the Eagles hit song with the same name. Something else to keep in mind, you never know who you're going to run into. So if you recognize these two folks with that really big camera on them, we'd love to know who they were. Now we are at Cerritos. Apparently Cerritos has their own letters, see? That shows you where the beach is too, right behind us. First thing we're gonna do here is sit down, relax, and get familiar with our environment. And then we're gonna tell you a little bit more about the beach. So hold tight, here's the beach. 
That is our current view. We're loving it. Cerritos is a popular destination for people from around the world that want to surf or learn how to surf. It also happens to be very family friendly, very safe, and a really good spot if you wanted to come down for the winter time in an RV or just to relax. Several people recommended that we come and try out Barracuda. We start our dinner with a fish ceviche. And enjoy the fun decorations while we're waiting for our tacos. What tacos did we get? Battered fish, avocado, grilled fish, grilled fish, sweet potato, grilled fish. Oh my gosh, so good. That was really good. Let's talk about Barracuda for a second. The tacos are on a different level. This is our new hidden gem. Favorite place in yeah. the world. These were so good. It's away from a lot of crowds. Even though there are tourists here, you don't need to worry about it. This is a good spot to come to. This is going to be the beach that you're going to be looking at. The ocean is just really nice. The weather's perfect right now. We're having a great time. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you. We really hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it and taking you along on our adventures today. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.